Taxi. button global score and also we need to set the score text to this thing and then we have zero again that's it now I think the game is a little difficult because it's too fast. So maybe 82 seconds we want the ball to change its place. Start. Say this, we join the text. And we add this. And we add more strings here. And we add points, space. And then we add uh, game over. Game over, man. That's it. That's it. Zero the score, so we just need to space over here. Maybe you can get some lights. Okay, the lights it will be like if every time you miss a ball, you don't touch, you don't collide, so you miss a ball. Okay, so let's say you have three lights, five lights instead of the time so you need to be very accurate so let's add the lights okay all the lights we will we will go here and we will find another label and it will say lights and we add the other one of course we counter for the lights space here set it to six and we call it the name light and that's it uh, maybe this goes with the um, red color yeah that's it oh also I like this thing to be in the middle center 
center and we fill him. That's it. That looks pretty nice. Screen blocks. So let's work with lives. So it's a new variable, of course. Lives zero. Initial. No, let's call it like high. High lives. Um, of course, this is when initial was the app. On start button, well, we have to find life, so it's no problem. But every time it's true, let's check if this works like this. If we collide, okay, so if this is true, okay, we call this, okay. Else, mm, no, else, no. What happened when we don't touch the ball? We touch an edge. Sorry, sorry, man. Edge, 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 edge. The edge is reach. That means that we didn't get it. We set the global lives minus one. But we cannot make this if let's say that yours when the lives is bigger, yeah, zero is bigger than zero. It's the global lives are bigger than zero, but then if they are equal, otherwise we will call to reset. We will reset everything, and we set the red moving in. Basically, it's like the finish that we have here. This is like the game over. So let's call it game over procedure. And it's this. Okay, when we have this, we are not going to use the clock anymore. And we have this game over procedure that we are going to use here. And of course, lives you will have like zero. Well, I guess that's okay. Every time we reach an edge, we will miss a ball. Let's see this. Ah, we need the text. Mm -hmm. In the initial, uh, initial values, I want to say that lives label set the text. To um, the variable that is the one that is types, leaves lives. Let's see, guys, if this is working. Start up, oh, I need to press the start button to load again this thing. Refresh the screen. We have this. We have five lights, points, and then we can start. Let me check if we start. 
every time we start this, 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 global score. And we need to set the lives again to 5. This is when we start, okay? But we are going to uh, also to pass it to another thing. Uh, of course, we are going to update the text. And if you check all of these things, it's like start procedure. Start the game. That we can have here. We have the game over the start. And we call it start the game procedure here. So the clock one it will disappear and play ball. So and let's check. I activate this. Oops. Four. I haven't updated three. Click. 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 Lives, but there is a problem that is not updating it. when we are playing, it is not updating every time the edge is rich. It's because I'm missing this to update the value. And that's it. That's it. Again. One point. Four points and four lives. I mean, three, two, one. No, zero. My last game over. And we have this message. I guess that's that's all. Okay, well, this is the first part. In the next part of the tutorial, I will give them. Um, I guess we can make some more graphics to make it more attractive. But it's a very simple game and it could be like entertaining if we add some sounds or something. Okay. Well, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Uh, we'll see you next time. Goodbye.